Hi. What's up, y'all? So, I'm Victoria from Lemons and Lime. I wanted to talk today about organizing all your supplements and medications um, if you have a chronic illness like Lyme disease because you're probably on a crap ton of them and it can be really overwhelming if you're taking like a million pills and tinctures and this, that, and the other a day. So, I want to give you some of my tips that I've learned over the years for organizing. Um, my current regimen is fairly simple. I probably take well, compared to before, I probably take somewhere between 35 to 50 pills, tinctures, things a day. Um, and most of them I can organize pretty easily. They can be taken with each other and with food, so it's not as complicated. So I'm going to give you some basic tips for organization. But I, there was a point where I was taking... 75 to 100 pills a day, top of medications, on top of tinctures, couldn't be taken with food. This had to be 30 minutes from that, an hour from that, so I'm going to give you all my tips for um, like really complicated regimens as well because I've been there, I've done that, and it's hard and it sucks, and hopefully some of these tips will help you. So first things first. So whenever I get a new supplement, I write on the ball, I hope you can see that, um, how often I'm supposed to take it. So this is one pill twice a day. Uh, you can write it however you know is good for you. So on top of all of my pills, I have a label. So they're quickly, easily labeled. I don't have to try and remember every time I'm going to take my pills or organize my pills. Um, and if it doesn't matter whether it's taken with or without food, I leave it blank. If it has to be with food, I write with food. If it has to be without food, I write without food. So then I know it's on the bottle already. It's all organized and ready to go. Um, and then when I get like a new, but this is vitamin C, but when I get a new bottle of it, I just exchange the cap so I don't just keep writing it every time. Um, basic tip number one, <laughs> write on your bottles of all your supplements, when you're supposed to take it or how much you're supposed to take. So I know twice, one pill twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. My second tip is to get yourself a huge ass pill organizer. So this one has um, seven days of the week, morning, noon, evening, bedtime. I mean, it just kind of depends. I usually take this with like breakfast, mid-morning, dinner, evening. Um, but so my uh, roommate in college got me this one probably because my pills were everywhere and she was getting tired of it. Love you, Michelle. Um, but it's been a lifesaver and I've used it ever since. She got it for me as like a Christmas present or something and I love it. So I'm not exactly sure where she got this one. I'm gonna look online and see if I can find it. Otherwise, I will link below some other good pill organizers um, that I've seen and found and all that so you guys don't have to do the work. I'll do it for you. They'll be linked below. But get yourself a big pill organizer because it is a pain in the ass when you have like a ton of bottles of medications and this, that, and the other, and this isn't even everything, to try and remember every morning to go through that whole bag and, you know, take what you're supposed to take and then remember to do it in the evening or the midday or whenever. So I have a huge pill organizer and at the beginning of the week, pick a day of the week, I do Sunday, beginning of the week, I'm ready to go for the week. I organize all my medications and pills so that I don't have to worry about it. I just get up pop up one of them open, take out all the pills, we're ready to go. Uh, and then I can just keep all my bottles, I just take them out once a week and then put them all into the cabinet for the rest of the week and I don't have to see them all over the counter and deal with them. Also, I'm sorry, my dog chose to eat dinner at this moment, so I hope that hasn't been too loud in the background. Pepper, thank you. Um, <laughs> anyways, so that's my second big tip is to get a pill organizer and organize your pills every week so you're set and ready to go. Um, now, if you have a bunch of different things that you have to take that have to be 30 minutes before food, this tincture has to be an hour from that, these two meds or pills or whatever supplements can't be taken together, I have to take this three hours from everything else, here are my tips for doing that because I've been there. <laughs> um, so figure out, the best way to do this is to take a piece of paper and write down everything you're taking and if it has to be away from food or with food. So you have it on a piece of paper and you can see, okay, this tincture has to be 30 minutes before I eat. All of these pills can all be taken together with my food, with breakfast. 
uh, this supplement has to be an hour after a meal or an hour away from other foods. Then, before you even think about your day, don't think about your schedule, what your life is like. Write down a theoretical schedule. So take a piece of paper and write down, okay, I have to take my thyroid medication first thing in the morning, 30 minutes before I eat. Then with breakfast, I can take all these pills. An hour after breakfast, I take these pills. 30 minutes before lunch, I have to take this tincture. Two hours after lunch, I take this supplement, which also has to be two hours before dinner. With dinner, I take this group of supplements. Before I go to bed, I take all of these pills. So you have a, you have a theoretical outline. I used to do this. Um, I don't currently have a piece of paper, but I'm going to try and find a picture. I think I've taken a picture before where I had that all listed out and organized so you guys can kind of see how I did it. but then you have it organized and listed. So you know when you're taking each thing. Then go back and say, all right, what's my day usually look like? I usually wake up at nine, so I know I need to take, like my thyroid medication I have to take first thing in the morning. So I know I need to take that. Put it right by your bed and say at 9 a.m. I take this. At 9.30 I have to take this tincture, which has to be 30 minutes from that pill and 30 minutes from food. So I know at 10 o'clock, I can eat breakfast and take all of these medications. Then, so you're gonna outline basically your whole day with your food, your meals, and all your medications and supplements. I know it seems kind of annoying and daunting, but you know, that's just the way you do it. There's some people who wake up in the middle of the night to take pills and I was like, I am not doing that. I would rather have my day, the waking hours I have, organized and ready to go. So do that. Sit down and be like, I wake up at 9, so I'm taking this. At 9.30, I take this. At 10 with breakfast, I'll take all this. At 12, I'll do this. Whatever, you know, organize it the way your day kind of falls into place uh, normally. Then set alarms on your phone. That way when you're out and about and running all over the place or, you know, busy doing something at home where you're tired, having a bad day, and you're just not remembering and brain fog, the alarm will go off and you'll know you need to take your medication. So you set, you wake up at nine, take that medication. You set an alarm then for 30 minutes later, 9.30, every day it goes off. You know, you take your, you know, Cowden protocol, whatever tincture it is. Then at 10 o'clock, you set an alarm. You say, okay, I eat breakfast now. This also helps if you um, are sick and like you don't have an appetite or you forget to eat or you're stressed and tired and you don't eat because it will remind you to get your nutrients in even if it's just something super basic like a smoothie or a juice or a freaking banana like it'll remind you that you need some nutrients so set that alarm set your alarm for 4 p.m. you have to take your activated charcoal then set your alarm for 6 p.m. you can eat dinner and take these supplements um, set all those alarms in your phone it's so helpful to have that list posted up on a board, posted on your door, posted on your fridge, wherever you're gonna see it and know your schedule and then set all your alarms. The other thing is that what I've learned over the years is that a lot of tinctures, like Byron White tinctures, let's say, they can be taken, um, they can be taken with food or like 10 minutes before food. It's not the end of the world that they're on an empty stomach. Even though it's recommended, like it's not the end of the world. So if you just can't fit it in your day or you forgot that day or you're having a bad day and you forgot to take it earlier, whatever it may be, don't stress that a supplement isn't taken exactly perfectly timed because it's not the end of the world. Um, but what I, my point is that a lot of tinctures can actually be taken together so like if you're taking abab abart and al by uh byron white you can take all those not in the same glass but you can take them all at the same time so you pour each one in each glass and drink them down um and it's not the end of the world if they're taken closer to food or than 30 minutes so don't stress that and that's the biggest thing is don't stress it so figure out an organizational system that works for you and then don't freak out if you don't follow it that day like if you're having an off day and you miss taking a bunch of supplements. You miss your supplements for that whole day. The world is not gonna be over. You're not suddenly going to go backwards 10 steps. It's okay. Um, so that's a huge, you know, I used to stress so much about, oh my God, I have to take every pill at that time, right hour, oh my gosh, around food, blah, blah, blah. And 
that just made it more stressful than just taking the freaking supplements in the first place. Um, so don't stress it. That's, that's a huge tip as well. But so my other thing is get yourself a to go pill organizer. Um, this is from the dollar store. My, actually my best friend's mom got it for me and my friend because both of us take crap tons of pills. Um, so I have this so that if I'm going out to dinner, I don't have to have a bunch of baggies in my purse or like carry this whole pill container with me or whatever it may be or like stress that I'm not gonna have my pills with me. They're all organized in here. You can just take this off, put in the pills, you know, if you have to take two of them or like if you're gonna be out for several hours, you can have like your morning pills and your mid-morning pills or whatever, you know, you get the idea. Um, this is super helpful. And then it's all organized in my purse and I'm like searching through my purse for pill containers and like having 50 of these in my bag um so that's my other big tip so i think that the, those are my main tips write down let's review first <laughs> write down on every pill container every time you get a new supplement write it down uh when how many you're supposed to take and how many times a day then and with or without food then get yourself a big gas pill container and organize your pills on a weekly schedule. So today is Saturday, so I only have Saturday and Sunday morning left, and you can see I forgot to take Thursday mornings, but I'm still alive, so it's okay. Um, third thing is to write everything down on a piece of paper. What can be taken with food, without food, and a theoretical schedule of like how things would be organized if life was perfect. Then go back and write down everything so that it aligns with your life and your normal waking schedule um, and life schedule and eating schedule and all of that fun stuff. And then I'm like super organize-y, uh, like that type A personality. So I used to highlight everything and like highlight all my tinctures and highlight what were supplements, highlight what when my meal times were, stuff like that. So if you like to do that, you can go back and do it. Um, but generally you get the idea. So we hope that all made sense. Oh, and get yourself a to-go con pill container so that you can take your pills wherever you go. You don't have to stress about leaving the house without them. Um, oh, set alarms on your phone. <laughs> that was the other one. Um, set alarms on your phone so you remember to take all your supplements and pills and and you take that that weight off your shoulder of trying to remember like oh in an hour i have to take this in 30 minutes i have to take this in 10 minutes i have to remember to take this or when i eat i have to remember to take all these um it's on your phone it's going the alarm's gonna go off you don't even have to think about it label those alarms for what they are so it doesn't just go off and you're like shit what am i supposed to take label the alarm so what so you know what they are like 10 o'clock count in beep 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 you know 12 o'clock Lunch supplements, beep, 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 okay? Um, but if you guys have any other great organizational tips for all the supplements and crap you have to take when you're sick, leave them in the comments below. I uh, hope I covered uh, some good ones and you get some, some use out of this video. Don't forget to like it if it was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments if there's any other type of videos that you want to see coming up. Otherwise, I'll just keep making what I want. All right. I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. And my dog, you can't see her. Now she's going to go hide. My dog says bye to